This is the Daily Love Podcast. L O V. Legere, orare, vivere. To read, to pray, to leave the Word made flesh, our Lord Jesus Christ. Hello to all of you listening. This is Maria on behalf of the Lexio Divina team bringing you the Daily Love Podcast. We are now in the fifth and last week of Lent. These are our last seven days before entering into Holy Week. Let us desire for an internal change so that we can be truly free to move forward and live our lives fully. It is by exploring the Word of Christ that we root ourselves in Him, deepen our relationship with Him, and see His presence in our life. So, dear brothers and sisters, let's all begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So today, we are in the Gospel according to John, and we read chapter 12, verses 24 to 26. I tell you most solemnly, unless a wheat grain falls on the ground and dies, it remains only a single grain. But if it dies, it yields a rich harvest. Anyone who loves his life loses it. Anyone who hates his life in this world will keep it for the eternal life. If a man serves me, he must follow me wherever I am. My servant will be there too. If anyone serves me, my father will honor him. So just a few things to nourish our reflection on these verses. There were some Greeks who wanted to see Jesus, and so they approached Philip and stated their request. Have you ever wondered why Jesus, instead of answering their requests in a simple yes or no, went on to talk about the parable of the grain of wheat? Jesus knew that his end was approaching. He took every opportunity to teach his disciples and strengthen their following. For Jesus, it was not enough for people to just see him and admire him from afar. He wanted those who believe in him to take the path of the green of wheat. This is the task for every Christian who desires to follow Jesus. We choose daily to fall to the ground and die to ourselves in order to gain more of Christ. It is only from dying to our selfishness and pride that we can bear the fruit of peace, love, joy, patience, hope, forgiveness, and faithfulness. It is only when we fall to the ground and die to ourselves that we can leave behind footsteps that would lead others to Christ. So just a question for us to meditate on today. Which part of me must die so that I can follow Jesus with more authenticity? Today, the praying intentions are for all of you listeners and our love for them dear family composed of 270 members, especially for Dominic, member of the Lexio Divina Group. We pray our Lord Jesus Christ to protect him and give him the grace to always be God in all that he does. O loving Father, grant him the courage to carry out every good work for the building of your kingdom. May our Lord protect Dominic and give him faith, strengthen his faith, and increase his love. We now pray for our three communities, Us Motherly Legion of Mary from Teresa's Church Living Water in Trinidad and Tobago, and for our clergy and religious. For Robert and his proceeding towards ordination as deacon, and for all seminarians in the Clifton Diocese, that they may listen to the voice of the Lord and follow it with courage and joy. For Morgan, who entered the Carmelite Order as a novice, and is finding it difficult, 
for Father Richard and the volunteers of the St. Nicholas of Tolentino's Food Bank and all the people in great need in these difficult times. The St. Vincent de Paul priests, Father John OCD, Father Francis, Father Valens, Father Rupert, Father Adam, and Father Larry, including our Bishop Declan and our Holy Father Pope Francis. We now conclude this time together by bringing all our attentions towards our merciful Mother Mary, so that she may intercede for us to her beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all for listening and praying with us. God bless you all, and please share with your friends, relatives, and community. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube, and to follow us on Instagram. The Love of Every Day Ministry hopes that this podcast helps you to deeply welcome the Word of God and give you the strength to put the Word into practice where you are. If you have any query or you want to send us prayer intentions, use our email address which is lov underscore verbundi v-e-r-b-u-m-d-e-i at outlook.com Thank you.